Come follow me. Hi, my name is Homan. I'm from Korea. I'm in the first year of middle school. Everything is new and exciting. There are many fun clubs in my school. I like sports clubs. I am in the floorball club. What is floorball? It's like ice hockey, but we don't play on the ice. We play on the floor in the gym. I like floorball a lot. Hello, I'm Judy from Australia. What do you think of my school uniform? The sunlight is very strong in my country. The strong sunlight isn't good for the skin. So my school has a special rule in summer: no hat, no play. The hat is part of my school uniform. I always wear the hat outside. It looks great on me. I'm Emma and I'm French. My favorite time at school is lunch time. I have a delicious lunch every day. I usually have salad, fish, and bread with cheese. Lunch time is two hours long. I eat lunch slowly. I also learn about slow food at school. Now I don't eat fast food anymore. Do you have text neck? Sumin has text neck. Text neck is a pain in the neck. It is common to many smartphone users. Sumin is always using her smartphone. Let's follow her and see. What a beautiful day! Sumin is walking to the bus stop. Her neck is straight. Her head weighs 4.5 kilograms. Her neck is fine. Ding dong! She has a text message. She is texting her friend back. Look at her neck. It is bent 30 degrees. Now her head feels like it weighs 18 kilograms. That's like four bowling balls. Her neck hurts a little. Now Sumin is on the bus. She is watching a movie on her phone. Oh no! Her neck is bent 60 degrees. Now her head feels like it weighs 27 kilograms. That's like her little brother on her neck. How terrible! Her neck hurts a lot. Ouch! Here are some health tips for Sumin and all smartphone users. First, don't bend your neck for a long time. Hold the phone at eye level or look down just with your eyes. Second, stretch your neck often. Turn your head to the left and to the right, and move your head up and down. Third, take a break from your phone often. We all need smartphones. So be a smartphone user. The world through animals' eyes. How do animals see the world? Take a fun quiz and see the world through the eyes of animals. Quiz one. Which color can't a dog see? A. Red. B. Blue. C. Yellow. Dogs can see blue and yellow. They cannot see other colors well. For example, they cannot see red. So, don't buy a red bulb for your dog. Your dog cannot see it well. Don't be sad. Dogs don't need great eyes because they have an amazing sense of smell. Quiz two. Which carrot can a horse see? A. The carrot right in front of its nose. B. The carrot to the side of its head. C. The carrot under its body. Hold a pencil in front of your nose. Can you see it? Of course you can. But horses can't. Their eyes are far apart. Horses have eyes on the sides of their heads. 
so they cannot see things right in front of their noses. But horses can almost see behind their heads. They can easily run away from their enemies. Quiz three. Which rabbit is safe from an eagle? A. The rabbit three hundred meters away. B. The rabbit three kilometers away. C. The rabbit five kilometers away. Imagine this: you are on the tenth floor. Can you see the ant on the street? Of course not. But eagles can. They are great hunters because of their wonderful eyes. They can see a rabbit up to three point two kilometers away. Isn't it amazing? Also, eagles have really big eyes. Their eyes make up fifty percent of their heads. Camping fun. Last weekend. Harry's family went on a camping trip to Crater Lake National Park, Oregon. They had a great time. Here is Harry's camping diary. July fourteenth, my family went to Crater Lake on top of Mount Mazama. How did the lake form there? Long ago, the mountain top sank and became a big lake. That's really amazing. The water was so deep and blue. Mom said, "Who painted the water? It looks so blue." I can see myself in the water," said Cindy, my little sister. We took a boat to Wizard Island in the lake. We fished there. I caught a small fish, but I let it go. It was only a baby. We couldn't catch any more fish, but it was a lot of fun. July fifteenth. In the afternoon, we rode our bikes along the lake. The ride wasn't easy, but the scenery was beautiful. There was a thick forest around the lake. I saw a brown rabbit. Dad said, "Rabbits here are brown in summer and white in winter." Wow, rabbits change their clothes too. How interesting. We felt hungry and tired. So we headed back to the camping area. After dinner, we sat around the fire. Cindy asked, "Where is the umbrella?" I said, "Why? It's not raining." She said, "Look up. There are a lot of stars." She was right. It was a lovely starry night. A red ball is rolling to you. This morning, a giant red ball rolled into Bordeaux. The people around it look very excited and surprised. Let's talk to a few of them. On my way to work, I saw a giant red ball. It looked like a huge beach ball. I thought, "What on earth is that?" I couldn't believe my eyes. I love it. My friends and I punched it a few times. Then we jumped into it and bounced off it. It won't be here forever, so come today. The red ball is four point five seven meters tall and weighs one hundred and thirteen kilograms. It's a perfect example of public art. Public art jumps out of the museum. It goes into places like parks and streets. The creator of the red ball, Kurt. Takes it all over the world. He is here with us today. Can you tell us about it? Sure. The red ball is for everyone. It brings joy to people. People play with it, and they become part of the art. People in different countries enjoy it differently. In Sydney, people played with the ball. In London. Everyone just looked at the ball and talked about it. People in Taipei followed it everywhere and took pictures of it. Interesting. Why is it red? Red is the color of energy and love. Thank you, Kurt. Well, the giant ball will be here until this Sunday. 
So come out and feel its energy and love. The perfect job for you. What do you love to do? Do you love to play the piano? Do you love to watch television? Well, those activities can become your future jobs. Let's read about the following people. They found the perfect jobs for them. Raul. Raul loved to sing. He sang on the way to school. He sang in the shower. He even sang in his sleep. When Raul was in middle school, he acted in a school play. At that time, he fell in love with acting too. Raul is now an actor in musicals. He's a great singer, but he has two left feet. Mina. Mina always played with her dolls. She changed their clothes every day. She ate and slept with her dolls. Luckily, Mina found the perfect job. She is a doll dress designer. She makes traditional dresses for dolls around the world. Her favorite traditional dress is Hanbok. Kevin. Kevin wanted to be a doctor. He also loved sports. Now, he works as a doctor for a baseball team. Kevin travels all over the country with his team. He takes care of the players when they get hurt. Kevin loves to help the players. He also loves to watch the games up close. What do you think? People spend about 30% of their lives at their jobs. So, how will you spend this 30% of your life? An accidental lesson. One day after school, Julie and Mike were playing catch. Mike became bored and said, Throw it harder. Julie agreed. She threw the ball really hard. The ball flew over Mike's head. Crash! The ball broke Mr. Lee's living room window. Mr. Lee came out. Julie's father also heard the sound and came out. Julie and Mike said, We're very sorry. Julie's father gave Mr. Lee $40 for the window. Mr. Lee said, That's okay. Kids will be kids. At home, Julie's father said, I'm not mad at you. But you still have to pay for the window. The next day, Julie told Mike the bad news. Mike asked, How can we make $40? Julie replied, How about doing a car wash? Mike agreed. Okay, I'll make the posters. The day of the car wash came. At first, no one showed up. But luckily, people came one by one. Julie and Mike worked up a sweat. They washed every little corner of each car. In the end, they washed 21 cars and earned $42. Julie and Mike gave $40 to Julie's father. He asked, What did you learn from all this? Julie said, we have to take responsibility for our actions. Mike said, Money doesn't grow on trees. Julie's father smiled and gave them the money back. I'm very proud of you two. You learned an important lesson, so here's your reward, he said. At first, Julie and Mike wanted to spend the money on snacks but they decided to put it in the bank. Why? It's because this won't be their last broken window. Taste of Korea Special food for special days. Dukguk Special day. Solal New Year's Day How do Koreans become a year older? They have a special way. They eat duck gook 
a rice cake soup on Solal. Eating duck gook means getting one year older. Songpyeon, special day. Chuseok. During Chuseok, Koreans make and eat songpyeon. They give thanks for the year with songpyeon. Making pretty songpyeon means having a pretty child someday. Food review. Review by Ted. This dish is miyokguk. It's a kind of seaweed soup. I was afraid at first, but when I tried the soup, it had a rich taste. The seaweed ran around in my mouth. It was more slippery than oil. It was a new taste for me, but I enjoyed eating it. Above all, it went great with a bowl of rice. Koreans eat miyokguk on their birthdays. This tradition comes from mothers. After a child is born, the mother eats miyokguk for her health. But how do Koreans put candles in it? Review by Kelly This chicken dish is samgyetang. But don't expect three chickens. Sam here means ginseng, not the number three. When I saw the dish, my mouth dropped open. There was a whole chicken in front of me. The chicken soup in my country has little pieces of chicken in it. Be careful of the very hot samgyetang. It's hotter than the sun. The meat was very soft. It fell off the bone and flew into my mouth. Samgyetang is much tastier than chicken soup. Many Koreans enjoy eating samgyetang on really hot days. It's like fighting fire with fire. No thanks. I recommend trying it on a cold day. Three bottles, three lives. Today, I'm going to talk about three plastic bottles. They all started together in a store, but their lives were completely different. A man came and bought the first bottle. After he drank the juice, he threw the bottle in a trash can. A truck took the bottle to a garbage dump. The bottle was with other smelly trash there. The bottle stayed on the trash mountain for a very long time. A woman bought the second bottle. After she finished the juice, she threw the bottle on the street. Soon, the rain came. The rain took the bottle to a river. The river took the bottle to an ocean. In the ocean, the bottle was with other plastic bottles. This bottle stayed on the trash island forever. A little boy bought the third bottle. The boy put the empty bottle in a recycling bin. A truck took the bottle to a plastic company. The bottle became a pen. A man bought it and he gave it to his daughter. Now it is her favorite pen. What are you going to do with your empty bottles? Recycle. The bottles and the world will thank you for recycling. Charlotte's Web Scene 1 Wilbur was a little pig on Mr. Zuckerman's farm. He was bored and wanted a friend. But all the other animals were too busy. Then one day, he met a spider. Hi there, I'm Wilbur. What's your name? My name is Charlotte. Charlotte? That's a great name. Thank you. I agree. Your web is really cool. Thank you. Um, your tail is, well, really curly. Thanks. Do you want to be my friend, Charlotte? Sure. Why not? Yay! Scene 2 Wilbur made a new friend. He was very happy. But the other animals didn't feel the same way. Did he just make friends with that spider? 
I think so. I can't believe it. He doesn't know anything. He's just a silly pig. Hey, Wilbur! No one likes spiders. Huh? I don't get it. Why? She looks scary. Yeah, look at those hairy legs. Ew. I think she's beautiful. I think you need glasses. I have perfect eyes, thank you. She's beautiful and nice. Be nice to the pig. He doesn't have much time anyway. What do you mean? I have a lot of time. The farmers give you lots of food. There is a reason for that. Because they like me. Silly pig, they are preparing you for the Christmas dinner. Great! I love Christmas and I love dinner. You are the Christmas dinner. Shh! That's, That's enough. enough. Not, Not another, another word. word. Scene three. Wilbur later found out the farmer's plan. He was very sad. He didn't want to be the Christmas dinner, so Charlotte decided to help Wilbur. All night she spun a web. In the morning, there were two words in her web. The people on the farm were very surprised. Am I seeing things? I can't believe my eyes. How can that be possible? I have no idea. What does fifty me pig mean anyway? There's only one pig here. It doesn't say that, Lurvy. It says some pig. Hey, you're right, Fern. Wilbur is some pig for sure. I told you, Uncle. Wilbur is not an ordinary pig. We shouldn't hurt him. No. Wilbur is an ordinary pig, but the spider is not an ordinary spider. Well, one thing is for sure: this is not an ordinary story. Word traveled around the whole town. Wilbur became very famous. Now the Zuckermans could not eat Wilbur, but soon people forgot about Wilbur. He was in danger again. Charlotte had to come up with a new plan. New plan. New plan.